What is up everybody? I'm going to be showing you how to install LSPDFR 0.4. Uh, this is going to be only for Grand Theft Auto single player. Uh, you cannot use this on GTA Online if that's what you're thinking about doing because that's not going to work. Um, there's just a few things I'm going to cover. Uh, first part is going to be installing LSPDFR. The second part is going to be a configuration. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, so first off, go to your browser, and uh, any browser, whatever you use, you can go to lcpdfr.com. I will leave a link to the download page so it's a little faster for you in the description. Uh, but if you want to do it the long, long way, just go to lcpdfr.com, um, and then go down here to lspdfr, click that. You should be presented with the page uh, somewhat looking like this, and it should say download lspdfr. 0.4 point uh, something. Uh, it should be a number there. And if this is further down the line when LSPDFR 0.5 comes out, um, which I don't know when that's going to be, then it's just going to be LSPDFR 0.5. I should have a new video out when that comes out. So this one would be a little outdated then. But uh, anyways, it should look something like this. I got ad blocker on, so it's going to look a tiny bit different. You'll see advertisements if you don't have an ad blocker. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here. Um, all you need to do is just click the download file, download this file, uh, and then it's going to have all of this crap here. This just means if you mess something up and you break your system somehow, they're not responsible and all their copyright information and then what the stuff that is included in the file. Um, read that if you like. I'm not doing that. But uh, you're going to be presented with two options after you hit uh, accept and install. Um, you would have .exe, a setup file, which is, this is to download it automatically, which we're not going to be doing that. Um, if you do it like that, don't really ask in the description how to fix it, or at least for me. Um, if someone else can help you, uh, that's great. I'm not going to be helping anybody that doesn't follow the video because I've never done it like that. And I'm not going to try to spend an hour helping somebody fix something when they should have did it the right way to start with. Um, that's just me. But uh, I encourage you to join the Discord if you do decide to do that and you mess up and then somebody should be able to help you that's done it like that before. But just go ahead and click the manual install. Um, enough of me rattling on. Um, once it gets installed, uh, you'll need something like a, a something to unpack a zip file, like WinRAR or something of that nature. Um, just go ahead and open it and then go back to your desktop. This could be done here in a second. Um, while you're waiting for it, go ahead and go to your library and find your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, your main directory for Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, I have it done under Steam because I have that installed through Steam. So this could be in my Steam library, Steam apps, and then Common, and then Grand Theft Auto 5. But if you have it through Rockstar Games, then you'll have to find it that way. Um, so once you have that installed, pull up both side by side. Um, You'll find your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. It won't look exactly like mine because I have a ton of mods in here and uh, other plugins. But uh, it's going to look um, somewhat less if you haven't uh, modded it at all. That's fine. Um, just go ahead and highlight all of this. Um, if you don't want to install licenses, you don't have to. That's just, I just left it because there's no point in even deleting it because it don't even take up that much space. But just uh, highlight all of it. Um, copy and paste it or just drag and drop it into your main GTA 5 folder. I'm going to cancel it real quick because I don't want to um, replace any of it. I've already got LSPDFR installed and customized to my liking, but that's just an example. After you've done that, then you're good to go. Um, if that's all you need to know, I appreciate it. Um, and like I said, if you want to continue to install mods, you're going to need script hook V. I'm going to lead leave a, a description leave a, leave a link in the description there we go down below to a video describing how to do that as well but if that's all you need to know um thank you guys for watching and hope you have a great rest of the day but if you would like to continue and uh modify lspdfr further um as far as the key bindings and stuff you want to know how to do that go to your lspdfr folder in grand theft auto 5 and there should be a bunch of stuff in here um, I wouldn't worry about any of the folders or anything just yet, unless you want to dive deeper into modding different stuff. If you don't know what you're doing, just don't mess with it. Um, you're going to have keys, 
which is going to be a configuration setting. This is where you can set all your key bindings. I've changed a few things up um, just to how I, I need them for when I record the LSPDFR um, and just stuff like that, just to make it easier on me. Do it however you like. Um, I suggest getting in game and testing stuff out and like writing down on a piece of paper stuff you want to change and then come in here and try to find it and then change it. That's how I did it. That's the best way for me. Um, however you want to do that, just you can do it there. Um, to configure your LSPDFR further, as far as stuff that happens and events and stuff, um, you can come in here and in your configuration settings. I'm going to leave my configuration settings in the description below. Uh, pretty much this is how I like it. Um, if you want to do it like it is in the videos, then you can just copy and paste this into this uh, into the LSPDFR config file and just save it. Um, just like copy all of it from the description and paste it in here and you should be good to go. Um, so if you do decide to do that, just make sure you delete everything and then copy and paste it so you don't have like the same thing listed twice or what whatnot. Um, so then you would just save it and then you'd be good. Uh, if you want to add more stuff or uh, see what some of this stuff does, I'm going to leave a link to the LSPDFR page for settings over here. And here you'll have all the names um, of the stuff you can put in and then what they do and then what the default values is and stuff like that. And that's pretty much um, all of that busted down into the most basic way I could possibly describe it. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. And if you like more stuff like this, like the video. If you want to uh, help me out, subscribe to the channel. Want to know when I post, go ahead and hit the notification bell. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can join the Discord in the description as well. And until then, I'll see you guys next time and uh, have a good rest of the day.